This is a New Raw POS how-to video. In this video, I will show you how to create a menu item with Aldello POS. We will start off by going into the back office, go to the setup menu, down to menu setup. In the menu setup, we have everything you need to create menu items, add modifiers or force modifiers, the pizza builder screen, the modifier builder template, and our different things. We will focus on the basic menu item. You have three main things for a menu item. You have a menu category, a menu group, and the menu item. You start off, we'll look at the menu items. A menu item is primarily used for reporting purposes. It allows you to group and sort menu items so you can track sales by like groups. This is purely a name. We look at some of the existing menu categories in the sample database. That's all it is, just a name. If we want to create a new category, we click on New and type in Menu Category. Click Save, and it's there. We'll go back to the setup menu, come down to menu setup, go to menu groups. Menu groups is the first thing your employees see when they're creating a menu or creating an order and the order entry screen. In this case, in the sample database, we have everything broken out, appetizers, sides, soup, salad, kids. If we click on one of these and look at one of these, such as appetizers, we can see it's just a name. You can pick an image. Aldello does come with a large, uh, large number of images you can use. If you have any of your own image you'd like to use, you can do so. And also, you can also have a color. I'll tell it a new color. And when it comes to colors, do keep in mind that the Aldello uh, text is in black. So you want to try to stick with a lighter color for your background on the button, since the text is always black. If we wanted to create a menu group, we come click on a blank menu group button, come to our group name, keep it pretty simple. If we want a picture, we can come to our images within the Aldello software. We can see a wide range of images. Let's say we'll pick a uh, bowl of soup. We can pick a color. Done. And there we have a new menu group. Click close, go back to the setup menu, menu setup, come down to menu items. On the left we see all our menu groups that are set up. We also see the new one that we just created. And here we have we have all our buttons. You do have up to 32 buttons inside each group. You can get uh, top level and sub level menu items. Uh, we can get a lot more buttons inside of. Um, but uh, we'll pick a blank button. Here we want to type in our menu item full name, menu item, select our category. There's our menu category we created previously. Again, we can pick images. Just pick a basic image. We can pick a color also. Pick a color. There we have our image and our color. Our price, let's say it's going to be $5.99 for this item and also whether or not we need this to go to a kitchen printer. If you need it to, you can select it or a bar printer. I'm going to leave it none. And then on the right we have three options that are always default with a new menu item. Menu item is available. Tax one will apply. And menu item can be discounted. Pretty self-explanatory with those three. You can check or uncheck these bases what you need for your menu item. If that's all we need for a menu item, we click Save, Done. And we have our menu item. If we exit out of the back office and return to POS, we can do an order, get to our actual menu screen, there's our menu group, and there's our menu item. Not very difficult. And with it also creating menu items, you have options for force modifiers. 
you have options for manual, regular modifiers, modifier builder templates, but for a basic menu item, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please go to our website, www.newrawpos.com, or call us at 800-390-6623.